Okay, so now we're going to set up the system to get our horse profiled. So I need to switch on the laptop and then I need to um, set up the sensors, which will involve getting the GPS um, signal and then time stamping that to the other four limb sensors. Once the GPS sensor has found its location and I attach it to the laptop, I then go into Poseidon. Once in Poseidon, the option you need to choose when setting up your sensors is the Sensors tab. Once in here, the first thing we need to do is set clocks to Pegasus S, because that's our GPS unit. As you can see, quite quickly then, a bar appeared and disappeared because it had the GPS location quite quickly. What I now do is go to Prepare Pegasus I Group. This means that the GPS time will be stamped onto the four individual limb sensors. The one thing you need to check here is that you do indeed get four tabs appear on your screen. One, two, three, four, because that represents each of the limb sensors. You should also just give a quick glance within each tab to see how, many, how much recording time you have left. If it is a case that you are running out of time, you will have to clear the memory and start the process again. Once I'm happy with the maximum recording time left, I click Done, and I then say Prepare Pegasus S. It says this action will destroy all the data stored in the unit. Do I want to continue? I click Yes. And then done. And that's me and the sensors ready to go do our profile. What I'm doing now is taking the sensors out and putting them into a clear plastic little wallet. This is done simply to protect the sensors from any uh, minute dust or water, but it doesn't interfere with their function in any way. Now that's all four limb sensors and my GPS unit ready to go. We have to find ourselves our horse and also have our brush and boots and my silk cap ready to go to hold all the sensors. Okay, so all I need to do now is put my sensors in my brush and boot and put my brushing boot onto the horse. The one thing that we need to be extremely careful of at this point is that we put the correct sensor in the correct boot. What you'll notice is that on each sensor there is a small label, a figure of a horse, indicating which limb that it is. So for example, this one says that it's the right forelimb and I'm going to put it on the right forelimb of this horse. Other than that, I now want to switch on my sensor. But before I do that, I want to just make sure that there are no lights apparent on my sensor. If there were, that would indicate that we may have a problem and we would need to confer with the manual. As it happens at the moment, we don't, so that means we're good to go. All I need to do is press the small black button on to start collecting data. I now see a green flashing light. That's what I want to see when it's collecting data. 
I find it best at this point to put the sensor into the little pocket on the brushing boot before you put the brushing boot on. Make sure that the bottom strap is secured and then that the top strap is secured over the sensor in its pouch. I will now do this procedure for the rest of the three legs. Okay, so I'm checking that my sensor is the correct one for the correct leg. It says right hind. That's correct. I'm checking that there are no lights at the moment on my sensor. There aren't. So all I need to do is press on my little black button. I now see a green flashing light, which again means that it's now collecting data. And I pop my sensor into its little pouch and then put on my brushing boot. Secure the bottom strap and then the top strap over the sensor in the pouch. I'm checking that this is the correct sensor for the correct leg. It is indeed the left fore. There are no lights present on the sensor at the moment. I now switch my sensor on with the little black button. I now see a green flashing light, which means that we're collecting data. I'm now going to put my sensor into its pouch. Secure my brushing boot with the bottom strap first, and then my top strap over the sensor in its pocket. last leg, the sensor says it's the left hind. I don't see any lights present on the sensor at the moment. I now switch on my sensor with its little black button. I now see a green flashing light, which means that it's collecting data. And I put it into my little pocket. And secure my boot via the bottom strap first and then the top strap over the sensor in its pouch. That's all four limbs done, ready to go and exercise. The only other thing left for me to do is to put my GPS sensor into my silk hat. The pocket for this is on the inside of the silk cover. The only thing I have to ensure is that the S unit, the GPS, is facing upward. That means that when your sensor is facing correctly into its pocket, you will see four black dots on the back of your sensor. That's my silk hat ready to go. All I need to do is put it on my hat and then I can start exercising my horse. Okay, so we've just come back from our exercise. I've taken off my silk cover with its GPS in it because I now want to switch off the GPS unit. So I just take it out of its pouch and just switch it off. And the next thing I need to do now is take off the limb sensors and switch them off as well. Okay, so as I'm taking off my boots, um, I want to switch off my sensor, so I open my pouch, and as I look at the sensor, ideally, I want to see that there is only still a green flashing light, because this means up to this point we're st still collecting data. If any other lights are apparent on the sensor, please confer with your manual. With this sensor at the moment, there is only a green flashing light, which is perfect, so now I want to switch my sensor off, and I do so by pressing the small black button. And that's it. That's my sensor off now. So I do this with all three other legs now. Right, I see that my sensor still has its green flashing light, which is great. 
I can now switch it off with the small black button. Sensor off. This sensor also still has a green flashing light, so I can also switch this off with the small black button. This sensor also still has a green flashing light, so I can press this off with the small black button also. Okay, so now I've untacked my horse and I'm ready to, as I said, download the data. So what I need to do is I need to take each sensor out of its, its boot, if you've not already done so, um, and take it out of its plastic wallet, its protective one. Um, and now I'm going to attach each sensor to the laptop. Now this doesn't have to be done in any particular order, you can just attach them any any sensor to any attachment now when I finished exercising as I said I switched off the GPS unit as I attach it back on here I'm just going to switch it on again as earlier again I've switched on my laptop and opened Poseidon now this time I go to the section that says tools rather than sensors the first time. As you can see it